Imagine the following scenario. You've been working on a song in Logic Pro 10, and when you revisit your project, you realize that its size has become very large. You are concerned about the free space on your computer, but Logic Pro doesn't automatically clean up your project. In this video, I will provide some tips to help you shrink the size of your project. Mass here on his feet, you know what to do, and let's proceed. As for the example I'll be working with, I have the most recent source version of my song Too Good To Be Queen, size 93 megabytes as of now. Tip number one, get rid of unused regions. Regions like takes, fails or legacy recordings consume odd space, so you may need to delete them. To see whether there are unused regions in the project, you need to go to Browsers. Make sure you have the Project tab open. Then go to View and see if the Show Region Use Count is checked. In my case it's checked, so I can see the number on the right side, near the Waveform View. Now all you need to do is you need to scroll down and see whether there are regions with the use count as zero. If the count is zero, these files aren't used, they occupy more space and therefore can be deleted. In my case, I already cleaned up from unused files, so everything is used at least once. And I'm happy with that. Tip number two, clean up your project. This method is essential to ensure that the project has odd space that can be removed. To clean up your project from possible unused files, you need to proceed to File, Project Management, Clean Up. I recommend you leaving all check marks on unused files, backups, media browser files because all three occupy some space on your drive. You don't want that, do you? So all you need to do is click OK and there should be a window appearing with unused files in the project. So in my case it doesn't appear, which means that there are no unused files, so the project is already clean. Tip number three, recreate the alternative. Alternatives may be an over space consumers in a package, with the mean that the package will be explained later. It is the same as project management, this means you need to go to file, project alternatives this time, and see edit alternatives. Usually alternative is bigger because it's the main project running and the button remove should be available. But if you want to remove that alternative, you need to create a new one. So let's go to file, project alternatives, new alternative. Let's say I have finished that project. The song is already on YouTube, so I can say it is done. Basically, it depends on you, whether uh, you need to give a new alternative name. In this case, it asks me, do you want to say the changes made? So I can say yes. In that case, I go to Project Alternatives and Edit Alternatives. So this alternative to Good To Be Queen Done is available. There is a main alternative to good to be queen. So if I remove that alternative, this alternative remains. Click save. Tip number four, manual deletion. This refers to deleting files in the package manually. Usually these are audio recordings. In Logic Pro 10, the project is a package containing all the files inside. So I need to access it by right-clicking and choosing Show Package Contents. So it's worth checking every folder size and size of container files as well. All you need to do is simply expand all the available folders. In my case, I want to check Alternatives and Media because I believe that Alternatives and Media are usually bigger than Resources. The Resources folder contains only the project information.plist and depending on the other factors, there may be also different files, but I'm not interested in it. So, I first choose alternatives. As I can see, the folder weighs 58.7 megabytes. Alternatives is usually used just like alternative for the project, and it also contains undo data, which weighs 55 megabytes. 
as the undo data with 55 megabytes out of 58 it would be good to remove the folder this is what i'm about to do are you sure you want to delete undo data no sing yes however it is worth making sure that logic pro 10 is closed at that moment as you could see after removing the undo data file the size of the project dropped to 33.5 megabyte so basically we saved some space i personally recommend saving your project every time you want to ensure you free some space with these tips as a result of manipulations with the project files, its size decremented threefold and comprised around 34 megabytes. Hope these tips help you maintain your workspace better. If you know other tips, just share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Here is Matt. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to stay in touch with me. I see you in the next video. Cheers.